Hey everybody, this is Andrew with MobileBurn.com and DailyMobile.net. If you take a quick look at my phone, you might notice something new. VSEO Cam, one of the biggest photo apps from iPhone, has made the jump to Android. Here it is on my Nexus 5. And basically, it's like a lot of the other photo apps. It allows you to take pictures and then edit them. But this one has an integrated camera that's pretty good. You tap on the screen to focus. And if it's red, it tells you that's out of focus. When it gets a little more yellow and green, it tells you it's a little better. So once you take that image, you can edit it. So I'll tap the gallery here. And it brings me to a, sh a little stream of all the photos that I've taken or imported. If you want to import an image, all you have to do is tap this little button right here. And then you can connect it to your gallery, uh, Google Plus Photos, and pretty much anything that stores your photos uh, in your Android device, you can add it from there. So, all right, it's importing. And then now I have them inside. And I can choose which images that I want to edit. So I'll scroll through. And I'll take this one. And you see the buttons at the bottom to edit. You tap this one right here. And then you just scroll through all the different filters that they have. They have a variety of filters. Uh, and you can download some more. Some are free. Some require uh, paying money. But it comes with a bunch of pre-installed filters. To change other things, you tap on the little wrench right here. And it allows you to adjust several aspects of the image. Uh, temperature brightness, exposure, fading, contrast. You can really alter the way that the image looks. And once you're satisfied, you tap at the bottom once again. Uh, you tap this little check mark. And you tap the share button. From here, you can share it to a gallery, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want. I'll just save to the gallery for now. All right, I got that going. Alright, and saving. It's a little slow. Uh, it could be faster. I'm on a Nexus 5 and it's not moving that fast, which is kind of disappointing. But uh, like I mentioned before, you can get additional filters by tapping the button in the bottom left corner and going to store. Uh, once you're in the store, they have several filters that are available in packs that cost money, but and it's also some that are free. You can sort it by what's most recent or what's most popular. And you can filter if you want something that's designed for black and white photography, something that's designed for portrait, you can do that as well. Uh, but if you ever want to just look at your images taken previously, you can scroll through your feed right here. And remember, in order to use open them in other apps, you have to actually share them. So anyway, this is just a quick look at VSEO Cam. Uh, this is Andrew with MobileBurn.com and DailyMobile.net. If you want to learn more about the app or download it, be sure to click the link in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching.